welcome, this is a quick tutorial on Uniview's EZView app. The app that I'm using is on the Apple but it's much the same for Android devices and also tablets. So the first thing you want to do is just to go down and download the app. To do that you just go to the App Store and just type in EZView one word and that will bring you to the app. So I'll just speed you through the process of installing and setting up the app. I've already got an account but I'm going to, to to delete everything just so I can show you on here how to create an account and how to link an MVR to that account. So when you start up the app for the first time you'll be presented with this screen. First thing you want to do is go to the globe, click on that just to make sure you've got international selected. So we'll click on sign up, enter an email address. Now in the past I've said the easiest way of setting up a cloud account is to use your computer. The reason for this was because when doing it on the mobile app it generates a random username of letters and numbers in the past you couldn't change that but now you can you can change that straight from the app so again just makes it all the easier for us to create accounts and link our devices so you enter your email address you enter a password you agree to a term and conditions and next thing you do is you click on verify what the verify does is it will send a verification code to that email address in my experience this generally takes a few seconds uh, I've not had to wait any more than 30 seconds to two minutes once you get that verification code you enter the number there and you click on sign up and that's the account set up very simple three steps done so I've already got an account set up so I'm going to be using that account for this uh, demo the nice thing is is it does remember your account details now so I can click on the drop down menu if you're if you're an installer and you're switching between many different accounts or if you want to test a customer's account you can do that and the details will be remembered in there very easily you can click on login and you've logged into the account so once you've created your cloud account the first thing you want to do is add your MVR to that account so everything I'm going to be doing, I'm doing from accessing the menu, the side side menu, using the three lines in the top left hand corner here. Click on devices. As you can see, I've already got a, a device um, set up here, but if I, if I didn't have a device, I just click on add P2P device. You can scan the device by scanning the QR code. It accesses the camera on your phone and you can scan it from there. If somebody had sent you a QR code of their device, you can click on the camera and you can access it that way. It accesses your photo library and you can, it will scan the QR code from there. The other way you can do it is you can enter the registration code, not suggesting you enter the 21 digit numbers and characters, but perhaps if somebody had emailed you the device code by copying it from the recorder. And finally, we've got live view and playback. These can be changed after the uh, device has been set up, but this is what you'll be by default viewing your devices in. So live view is set to smooth, so it's going to be the quickest, lower, lowest bandwidth, but also the lowest resolution. And you can set the settings for uh, playback as well. Once you've done that, click on save and your device will appear here ready to access. The other thing you can do in devices is you can click on the uh, drop down menu and you can edit the device name you can change those settings that we just did with the live view and the playback we can delete the device a new feature in the new firmware is you can actually do a speed test on that remote site I can upgrade the recorder the MVR from anywhere in the world from my mobile device and I can share the device with different people simply and easy from there now one question I do get quite a lot is the customers want to be able to set up multiple users with multiple mobile devices to access the MVR and the device has already been added to another mobile device. So this is for very good reason, this is for the security of the device because otherwise anybody would be able to download the app, go along to the recorder, add the device and scan that QR code and they would have access to the cameras which would be absolutely no good for um, security. So the way you have multiple devices, multiple users accessing the cameras on that recorder is you share the device. So you have the main account and then you share it with other account holders. So you have the customer create an account from the mobile app or from the website. They share their account details with you, their username, and then you can share it to their account. So when they log in with their account details, they will see the MVR and that's the way you do it.
you can also set sharing permissions so over here for instance with the sharing permission I can create an account in the recorder where uh, for instance I could create an account called outside that just had the outside cameras not the inside cameras and then you can sh when you're sharing the cameras on that MBR you could share it with the sharing permission of outside and that way they can only see those outside cameras and you can also do privileges such as playback and live view you can set those settings up for the user and finally you can set how long you want to share it so you might give a perhaps a customer that's looking at having a system installed and you just want them to have access for a week just so they can get used to using the UniView app so for instance we've got PTZ on our demo system that we share with customers quite often and we just give them a week's access just so they can show customers the benefits of the Uniview PTZ and that's how to share a device. Okay, So we go back to the menu and next thing we do is live view. Live view very very simple down at the bottom here you've got your splits. If I want to roll it over to another page I can click on that menu there. Add a camera you click on the plus sign simply add a camera to delete a camera hold your finger on it and you can drag it up to the trash bin so again add a camera simple as that if I want to make that camera a full screen I can double click on it and it will make that camera full screen if I want to make that camera a favorite I can click on the star button down there and I can give that a favorite name delete the camera load it up like that if I want to access that favorite then I can select that camera that favorite and it loads up automatically so to get to that I just go up to the camera icon in the top right there and it will open up the menu and you can load your, load your favorites from there so the other thing you can do from that camera icon is you can load all the cameras for that MVR so here as you can see we've got CRK demo I can select individual cameras that I want to load or I can just select them all simply by selecting the recorder and start live view and it loads up all the cameras as simple as that the other icon that you'll see in the menu so down here we've got a portrait icon which allows us to choose the uh, camera stream that's been delivered to our EZ view app so we've got three options smooth balanced and clear this directly relates to the video encoders the first second and third stream so smooth stream low bandwidth lower resolution but it's always going to mean that you're going to get a connection as you can see it's only taking 148 130 kilobytes to deliver that stream to us which is very little indeed finally balanced incidentally to zoom in and out I'm just pinching on the screen here so balanced as you can see slightly um, sharper resolution the bandwidth's gone up slightly and finally we've got clear where it's going to give me a much sharper picture as you can see the bandwidth is now at 3.5 megabits per second so we probably need to be on the local Wi-Fi connection to get good connection connectivity on that PTZ actually I haven't got a PTZ connected at the moment but if you press the PTZ button you can control the PTZ up down left right zoom in um, easily uh, from there and you can even so go to the presets easily speaker Uniview systems take a line level audio in and to enable the and disable the audio from the cameras you just click on the speaker icon finally the two buttons we got on the left here is video and camera we can start recording do live recording to start that we just click on the snapper board and to stop it we click on it once more if we wanted to take a snapshot we can do that as well just by clicking on the camera icon and it will take a snapshot so that's live view click on the menu bring in the side menu here next thing we'll do is look at playback you select the camera that you want to do playback on select the time select the day click OK and it will load up the camera and that particular date and time so the buttons we've got down here is we've got 60 30 and 5 that relates to the timeline which we've got here so here you can see that I'm viewing the timeline these lines represent an hour so I've got 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 10 o'clock if I change it to 30 I've now got my minutes in split into 30 into 30 minutes so I've got 10 10 30 11 o'clock and finally you've got five so the lines now represent every five minutes 
so it's much more zoomed in on that timeline. Down the bottom I've got the same sort of thing, I can, I can change the search, I can enable disable the speaker, I can start recording and I can do my snapshots. The other thing I can do is I can fast forward through my video eight times, 16 times, which I'm doing now, and you can slow it down just clicking on the, the other player icon. And once you've found what you are looking for, if you click on the pause, and you can take a snapshot. So that covers playback. The other thing I want to cover with you is files. So when you do a recording, it records it and it stores it on your account here. And from here, you can easily share that recording or that snapshot to your photo library or with other users. So this is a snapshot. I can click on the share icon and I can share it via SMS or I can share it via email. And we've also got video on here as well. And the same thing, export the video to my photo album. I can share it via email or I can delete it. If you want to manage your files here, if you click on the notepad with a pencil, select the files that I want to delete or share or I can select them all. In this instance I'll just delete those two and they're all chronologically ordered for us as well so that's files and finally you've got the help button in the bottom down here everything for the app has got detailed explanation on how to do it in this help section so P2P account for instance it's got how to set up a cloud account how to log in how to do sharing FAQs as you can see everything you'd need to do is listed here in the help Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope that's been informative and useful for you.